Hello. 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 We are Kinks and Cocktails, a podcast where we explore a different kink every episode. This episode is about splashing. Yeah, it's basically a very messy, sexy food fight. Woo. <laughs> How is everyone? You told me I couldn't say it anymore. <laughs> oh, now I forgot what it was. Horrible. I want a refund. Oh, God. <laughs> I feel like you actually earned that today, though. Yes. It, it yeah. did. Yes, you did earn a refund today. In case Sorry, she listens, your... work sucked. <laughs> I know. All right. <laughs> um, How about you, Moth? Good. I think everything's going well. Um, I don't exist anymore. My partner had surgery not that long ago, and he is in the recovery of it and just came home on Monday? Sunday. Oh, Sunday night yes. he came home. And... Um, yeah, we've just been existing, and well, it's good. I'm glad the surgery went well. Yeah, everything went super well. Glad you're here, existing here. He feels <laughs> right. How far I mean, can he lift up his arms? Oh, he can lift them up like basically like normal. Oh, that's good. Um, I think he can't reach the top shelf, but he's also only five eight, so like that. I was gonna say, normal. could he ever reach no, the top shelf? No, right. Um, but Love otherwise, you, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say too, he feels good enough to like bitch. So like today was his first day that he felt like he felt like totally back to normal. So I'm like, ah, you're fine now. Everything's yes. okay. No, okay. Back Which is normal. some bullshit that right. he heals so quickly. <laughs> so quickly. It's literally he had like he literally broke his sternum and um is now That's ridiculous. Right. And he's feeling better already. He that is. was on Friday. Every Thursday. right to bitch. <laughs> right. Now um, he doesn't. Tell him to quit being a little bitch. I do I do both of those things. You have to go back and forth between validation and breaking him down. The ego can't get like too big at right. any point, right? <laughs> yeah. That's fair. So yeah. So I moved the little crucifix that I found back into the closet. Thank you. Just in case. Oh. <laughs> Just in case. Updates. Didn't want to disturb anything that was yeah. So it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Safety oh. measures. Yes. I'm in a group and they like have oh they bought a house and they tore down a wall and in the in that like room there's another room and it says do not open and i was like do you know how tempted i am just to go um, open now that door I'm going to want to open it yeah <laughs> but, it was nailed shut oh now watch there's like no room behind there they're just messing with you that would be funny it's just a wall <laughs> that, the house is really old like they tore down a wall because they were like this is like they could see like light in it it was in their basement so mm -hmm. they had like a one of these. I don't know what this is called. A uh, basement window. But yeah. Really high up. Oh. Not an egress window. Right. It's just, just a, a tiny. tiny yeah. 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 So they like could see like cool. a little bit of light through the wall and they're like, what the hell is oh. behind here? So they tore it down and it was. Tiny window. Tiny window and really creepy door. Yeah. Valid. Um, they I have not opened it. They haven't opened the door yet? I would. No. They said that they're not going okay. to. Okay. Can't you look up the history of your house online? Yes. You can. Yeah. You can sometimes, I mean, it depends on the house, but sometimes there's even like blueprints and stuff. Mm -hmm. And depends if they, I mean, if it was legally done or there to the house. Right. <laughs> it totally. would not be on there. Um, <laughs> it was a very old house and the door looked really old. Like all of the. That sounds I would have cool. opened it. Right. I would have opened it. Yeah. And the do not open was definitely in cardboard. So <laughs> that's super funny. Did I would smell maybe like. My thought first was like a dead body, but that that's would smell. That's my automatic instinct does. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a dead body in there. Open it. It would smell, though. See, I just think of, like, asbestos. <laughs> like, what if they just said, oh, do not no. open because there's, like, And you're like, something I'm better. trying to be rebellious. Like, right. No. And then you open it, and, like, asbestos is fine if it's not disturbed. There's just the a dick box in there. <laughs> right. That's, that's it. <laughs> oh, my God. I'd open it. It would have already been open. Same. <laughs> So, also from the last episode, the trivia question about who wrote the song Here Comes the Sun. Katie so the exact up. answer, Yeah, I did fuck up. The exact answer was George Harrison, but he is the lead guitarist of the Beatles, so technically you did get that right, Moth. I'm so good. I forgot to buy you Dino Nuggets. I'm sorry. But <laughs> to be <laughs> honest, I don't think time. either of us remembered it. <laughs> right. Well, now you did. <laughs> and you know what we're going to do? Forget by next time. Good. All right. It's good. <laughs> I'll edit that out even. <laughs> We don't listen to our podcast. I do. Wow. Great supporters of yourself. <laughs> also, from the last episode, I found out the world record for the farthest ejaculation. <gasps> yes. It is 18 feet and 9 inches, which is about the length of a stretch limousine. Wait, is that up? Is that up or is that horizontal? Is that vertical or horizontal? I cannot specify. It might be at an angle. <laughs> 
there's trajectory. It's like a bell curve. What if there was wind? <laughs> right, is it indoors or outdoors? I don't know. <laughs> what are the circles? Katie, you didn't do enough research on this I for know. us. <laughs> so now I have more questions. Okay, you report back next rest. next uh, round. I will. I was going to say, I don't know what you expected of us. We ask a million questions right. every single time. We're like, wait a second. <laughs> what right. are the details? Well, listen back to this. Here's a note to myself to figure that out. Oh, my God. <laughs> So I don't know how we can relate McDonald's to this one. <laughs> Do people splash McDonald's? <laughs> I'm, oh my sure. god! I have no doubt. Are you kidding me? That's get like amazing. smear McChickens on the titties. <laughs> I was gonna say a McFlurry, just like oh, that shit out. Like great. Right? The ice cream machine's broken. Don't even try. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's why it's broken. People are constantly using it for splashing and so in the back room. <laughs> yes, right. Terrible. That's why they're so like running behind all the time. And yes. that's why I said McChickens. You just. Mayo titties. <laughs> oh my god, terrible. Yeah, gross. Um, also, I think it would be really funny to use. You know how everyone always says their sprite is the crispest. Yeah, it is. You it should is. dump yes. it on them. <gasps> like if it would feel different, right? Too. Uh, we have. Can you t dunk your toes in like different kinds of sprites <laughs> and the coke? See if you can see the difference. <laughs> Colin, I am toes. dipping your toes in sprite. Thank oh you. My testing. God. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I'm gonna need you to be my test dummy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know you don't listen here, but uh, love you. Thanks. <laughs> um, we're also bringing back, if you hear any background noises or noises that aren't supposed to be there, you have to take a drink. Yes. Yep. Like, That's our new thing. So you better have an alcohol next to you because... Did you, wait, that was not... That was a horrible clink. That was a horrible clink. clink. That was, there we go. It's our cups. We need better <laughs> cups. Oh, uh, plastic. Plastic. <laughs> nope. Just <laughs> clink. There. <laughs> you heard it. Drink. I did my best, I swear. So I also Jen, drink water because I know you're listening to this at work. <laughs> she texted or just say it's water and yeah oh my god I'm not, not gonna work. tell I won't tell <laughs> no she texted me uh, last time she goes I can't drink I'm at work and I was like drink hot water you dehydrated bitch right <laughs> I think that's a valid option though actually because we know everyone who's listening probably doesn't drink enough water right. at the end of the day <laughs> so like if you could just drink instead of alcohol maybe you just liquid every time you hear something that's fucked up yeah. like that's also fine <laughs> yeah we want to improve your lives we don't want to make it worse <laughs> Right. Little column A, little column B. It's called we balance. We're, we're degenerates enough. Like we don't need to put that on us. We're gonna make their lives worse by hearing what comes out of our mouths. Exactly. So maybe you should like nourish your body during the process. Balance it out. Yes. Hey, we're being educational. Where this is important. Very. So important. Important <laughs> business. Sex positivity is important. Very. It is important. I have a T-shirt that says that. All right. So anyway. <laughs> Tangents. Met with so, no, uh, they expect nothing less. I'm a huge 90 Day Fiance fan, oh. and on the newest season, um, one of the people on it, they are a lunar it's and air. a sloshing content creator. What? Yeah, and she has a 90 Day Fiance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was super excited to see it. Are they gonna get married? <laughs> huh? Are they gonna actually get married? I don't know yet. I haven't gotten that far. And it was a brand new episode. Katie, hurry up! If the episode <laughs> out yet. <laughs> I'm all caught up. I, I will keep you informed. Okay, thank you. Because I'm <laughs> definitely not going to watch oh, it. I'm so but sorry. But her fiance does Same. not know that she makes these videos. So that's very... Ooh, scandalous. He doesn't know yet. He what doesn't if, know yet. Well, I'm sure he does actually in real life. He lives in Jamaica and she lives in the States. Oh. I don't know. Do you not know how 90 Day Fiance works? I was like, <laughs> I don't even watch the show, but I just live vicariously through people who do and like... That's the whole point. Well, I knew that they weren't in, like, the States, but, like, at this point, they have to be done recording, right? Well, right. You yes, mean, like, but they're in... not allowed to share it on social media right. yet until the season's so over. So you're saying that you think he knows about it in, like, real time. Oh, yeah, like, in real time. Right. Yes, yes. Totally. Yeah. I would hope also, but, like, I don't know why you wouldn't, like, share your fetishes with your partner at that point. Like, if you're planning on getting she married. She's scared that he wouldn't approve of it. But they've been dating. Like, it's not and, like they haven't. And he also approved of her sending him like $100,000 to buy land down there in his mm. name. Hmm. Mm hmm. I love this. Tell him <laughs> about the splashing. <laughs> so sorry for ruining the show for you. Shout out to Deanna, my new 90 day fiance. Fan. <laughs> she sent me so many videos of you guys drunk on Once Saturday. Once we realized that we were both like super fans and we've seen all like. She was just sending me videos of her trying to sing to you. <laughs> so now when there's new. <laughs> so now when there's new episodes, her and her like texting back and forth. Nope, she just sent me a bunch of videos of her singing to you. Yep, and that was at the Bloomington Cowboy Jacks. But oh, no, here. The other Cowboy Jacks. Oh, yeah, and here. Yeah, that we came here and hung out. 
Yes. I was already in bed. Danny oh texted God. me. Yeah, Come she's over. She's like my neighbor. She lives like so close. And I'm super excited. You have a lot of neighbors I that know, are, I know are so friends. so many people around here. Except for me too. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to travel. Listen, I live in the middle of nowhere. It's fine. <laughs> Same. Right. Oh actually. my God. <laughs> no <laughs> one needs to know where I live. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Katie's going to geolocate me. Um, Dox you? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Because right. everybody's so like, oh, Ashley, that's the one I want to dox. <laughs> They're going to stalk you now. Like, we don't stay where we are all the time every weekend. Like, Just on. Calvin Jax. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I know all the security there. I can get people kicked out of that. You <laughs> see the most obnoxious people getting drunk over the weekend. Those are probably your hosts. Yeah. Yep, it's us. Minus Moth. <laughs> right now, I'm not there. Yeah. I don't exist. Sorry. Moth is a response. I didn't. Danny. Oh. You hear that, everyone? The creakingness. Drink. Okay. Ashley's drinking. Are, are we? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, ready? <laughs> so splashing. Splashing. So this definitely goes with rule number 34. If it exists, there's probably porn about it. <laughs> Just wait till my my choice. <laughs> okay. so, so I read somewhere that they were referred to this as a multi-sensory extravaganza. And I really liked that. <laughs> That's like so my sticky. worst nightmare. I, I mean, That's why we chose you for the video. Oh, for the <laughs> I was like, wait, what? For, yeah, for our, our for the TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, yeah. They uh, Ashley splashed, quote unquote, some Bailey's directly into my mouth. That was not bottle. Bailey's. Yeah, it was. That it was, was Kahlua. Kahlua. <laughs> Same difference. <laughs> so let's see. This also reminds me of like Nickelodeon when people would get slimed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what it reminded me of too. We're just gonna bring all of our childhood back. Huh? So, yes. question: mm -hmm. um, Is splashing specifically food, or is like because there's wham, right? Yep, so, wham is wet and messy. Right. So wet and messy was very explicitly substances. All substances. Yes. That are not bodily fluids. Correct. <laughs> um, but is splashing just food, or is it yes, just okay, food? Cool. That was one of my fun facts. I was gonna go over. Oh, sorry. So, no, I'm glad you brought that up. Good segue. Segway. <laughs> it's a goo. It's a goo. So. <laughs> um, Starting. <laughs> so, yeah. Splashing is specifically food. And what a messy or wham is other things. I'm trying to think of an example. Why can't I? Mud. Dirt. Mud. Yeah. Right. Like anything that's not food. Yes. That is also not your bodily fluids. Yes. Tree motor oil. I was going to say tree that. sap for some reason. <laughs> tree sap. Because of uh, what was that one about trees that we did? Dendrophy. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They can do some. There's some crossovers happening. There we go. So gotcha. we went over a drink pairing. Are you guys ready for snack pairing? I'm ready for snack I'm pairing. I'm ready for snack pairing. I have it hidden again. Well, I have to go get it and Danny has to help me bring it down. Ah, oh, Danny can say hi. Yeah, Danny will make a little guest appearance. So. I mean... Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be right back. We made Don't a pretty talk good. Bad about me. <laughs> I was like, we did a pretty good Katie interlude bitch. last time. <laughs> oh my god. God, she sucks so bad. <laughs> Just hate her so much. I feel like you have to like bring up Mean Girls. I was stuff. trying to. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have any quotes. She is a fugly slut. That's all I remember. It's perfect. You did great. I'm like, the only quote that lives in my brain is like, I can tell. Too gay to function. Oh my God. Made out with a hot dog. Slept with Coach What's His Nuts. Also slept with Coach What's His Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> um, I haven't seen that movie in so long. Uh, I watched it really drunkily with Nikita the other naked weekend. That's so cute. It was super cute. What a good bonding activity. And then he slept with someone on my couch. That is what he does. Kind of no, he's never slept with anyone on my couch until now. I mean, but he does just, like, sleep with people. Yeah, because he's a hoe. <laughs> Here it is. We have a Sunday bar. <laughs> That's so cute. That's so good. Who That's are special. you? No. Well, Danny, just hold it. Is Danny just going to, like, stand? Yeah, I want, I want Danny to be our little... I was going to say, narrating what's happening, Danny just walked down with a beautiful tray of assorted goodies, um... Kind of Sunday like activities. I love you, man. It has no friends. <laughs> <laughs> Where he walks in You're, the your float you are just our sugar daddy yeah. today. That was so beautiful. Say hi, Danny. Hi. 
Thank you, Danny. It'll be very quiet. Thank you. Great. Wow. Yeah, so did a Sunday bar. We, we were talking during it. Don't even worry. Katie's checking her levels right now while he's down here. Uh, okay. <laughs> Got to make sure. Made a Sunday bar because people like to splash like with Sunday foods. That's so cute. So we have, what do we have on the tray here, Katie? We have some ne- I, Neapolitan ice cream. Delicious. Some Teddy Grahams, rainbow sprinkles, peanuts, banana slices, honey, strawberry whipped cream and regular whipped cream, chocolate syrup, tipsy cherries, which are boozy cherries course <laughs> oh that's so bad i actually just uh sprayed the whipped cream directly into your mouth good job the strawberry one yes. yep how was it it was good it was really good <laughs> you should do it again for a video i'm going to there's also gummy bears chocolate covered uh cookie dough gumballs salted caramel chocolates reese's pieces and nerds and lollipops <laughs> here oh dang it <laughs> i'm gonna try it now that was a that. strawberry one it was really good yeah I actually do you want to try the strawberry one instead try the strawberry one it sounds delicious <laughs> weird thing i had a dream about this you had a dream about this yeah that's weird about what spraying whipped cream into your mouth in my sex dungeon definitely <laughs> Wow, this is so cute. <laughs> like a weird, like, deja vu moment, and I did not like it. About what, the Sundays? No, about the whipped cream. Like, the oh. whipped cream in particular. What kind of dreams are you having, Ashley? <laughs> now we time. know. Me walking to the bathroom while you're pouring whipped cream in your mouth. It was, uh... <laughs> Oh, about me putting whipped cream in my mouth? Yeah. Like, oh. I was walking to the bathroom because I spilt something on my hands, a.k.a. whipped cream. Oh. Deja vu. It's just deja vu. Weird. It's crazy. Well, uh, you guys, you don't have to make a Sunday now. I was like, how are we going to do I this? I know. This is going to be very... Um, no. What are you doing? I'll move the unicorn sign, actually. Um, are you trying to take a picture? No, I was going to do... I already have a picture of it. Oh. So, okay. you don't have to. I also took a picture. Okay. So, if you guys want to make a Sunday, you can. It might be very difficult, but we can... Yeah, I don't leave. know how to do this without being you know what? super loud. We're, yeah. It's okay. They can drink whenever they hear something. Something clinking? Yeah. That's hilarious. Well, then, yeah, I think that's perfect, because then when we take intermediary turns... Yes. Um, <laughs> drink. There, there's right. a clink. Drink. <laughs> no, what I was going to do is for, like, our TikTok, because uh, everyone does those videos of us, of them. Doing... All of us, like, talking? Yeah. Well, you did with the whipped cream. Yeah. I took pictures. Okay. That was video. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah, a video of me eating whipped cream. Okay. Oh, perfect. Ten hours All right. So, we can do... You can make your Sunday... You can tell us are more. You, are you more fun facts? Yeah, I'll do fun facts. Fantastic. You guys can make your Sundays. Clink, drink. Okay, I like that. We're going to put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> Clink, drink. drink. <laughs> All right, so fun facts. So speaking of whipped cream, even dabbling in licking whipped cream off of your partner a little bit counts as sploshing. Definitely not as extreme as the kind we're talking about today, but it still counts. Um... There's We're both going to be a holes in. Oh, there is an ice cream. Store? Yeah. Ooh, it's oh, you melty. ruined it. Ice cream is very melty. Right. So now I'm not going to use okay. the scooper. Yeah. Neither of us will use that scooper now. Right. <laughs> you so. put it in the chocolate and you ruined it for us. <laughs> you don't like chocolate? Neither of us do. I didn't know that. <laughs> no, because I, Moth, I know you like Reese's peanut butter cups. I do. Only the. Easter what? No, I Christmas. The white chocolate. Because I got little mini Reese's cups for you. Um, but I like. I don't feel like you have to eat them. I like I chocolate like when it's covered in caramel and. That's what this is right here, and this is covered in cookie dough. Jeez, here's your podcast. <laughs> You're such a good mom. Such a good podcast mom to you too. Yeah. Okay, well I need a spoon because I won't. Oh, yep. oh yeah. Katie ruined my life. Katie, keep going. Keep I ate so many of this stuff like when I was making it. And- I'll probably just make one later. But yeah, so splash, SplashDating.com is a thing. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't find any of that in my research, so that's really good. Just found Splash Dating, yeah. So nine people have it tagged on FetLife. There's about 700 clips of it on Clips for Sale by only three splashing-based studios. Is that this? Yep. It's like, what do you want? So Obviously all those clips and yes. only... From three studios. Wow. Yeah. Do you want me to go put this in your freezer? Can you? Yeah. Wait, Danny. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna hear me. No. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right. Um. 
<laughs> is this when we talk crap about Ashley while she's gone? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have, like, nothing bad to say. She makes herself look bad enough. <laughs> oh, my God. You <laughs> Like, all you have to do is follow her on social media, and then you'll know yes. everything you need to. <laughs> yes. It does not get wor- any worse than that. I heard that and that's very fair. She said she heard us, and that's very fair. <laughs> <coughs> I almost fell down the stairs. Like, that's why I mean Danny stairs. carry the tray down the stairs, is I did not trust myself to. <laughs> yeah. What are you looking yeah. for? Yep. Okay. So, I have a list of things... That people typically use. There it is, Jane. Ah, oh, so do I. That's okay. Really? That's okay. I have a really freaking long list. I don't have a long one. Oh, okay. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to do this without getting the giggles. <laughs> Shaving cream, slime, paint, lotion, mud, baby oil, milk, whipped cream, baked beans, custard, ice cream. Oh. That'd be really cold. Cake batter, yes, syrup, spaghetti, cream. molasses, chocolate sauce, condensed milk, marshmallow fluff, yogurt, pie, oatmeal, pudding, caramel, peanut butter, eggs, Cheese sauce, pasta sauce, sprinkles, beer, champagne, chocolate milk, cherries, cottage cheese, soda, tuna, mayonnaise, salad dressing, mustard, ketchup, jelly, cocktail sauce, barbecue sauce, soup, coleslaw, potato salad, Minnesota salads that aren't really salads, jello, pudding, hot sauce, ouch, but maybe you're into that, slushies, milkshakes, milkshakes, juice, sour cream, salsa, cream cheese, and cooking oil. Wow. Did it. Oh, a lot. <laughs> I'm actually really impressed. Yeah. Thank you. I was, did it without getting the giggles. Yes. That was my goal. <laughs> I ate the caramel and now it's shut on my teeth. <laughs> you what? <laughs> Got I ate honey. the caramel and then it's stuck in your There's teeth. There's no mm-hmm. caramel. Oh, um, Ashley's hitting it. the gwitty over there. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hit the gwitty with the caramel in your mouth. <laughs> I hate it here. Oh, God. <laughs> That's it. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> You're here by choice, not by force. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, no, I was drunk. It was by force. <laughs> right, I was intoxicated. I technically can't consent under those conditions. Yeah, true. We all, yeah. <laughs> and then they get here, I feed them more alcohol. So mm-hmm. it's my fault. All right, on that note, should we go on with history? Totally. Also, like, shout out to, this is wonderful. Just, you know, <laughs> I'm really having good. so much fun right now. Good. <laughs> I'm happy to be your podcast mom. I'm surprised you didn't put Teddy Grahams in yours. I forgot about them, to be honest, and then I just saw you throw them, and now I'm sad that I didn't. You still can. I might <laughs> just eat them plain later. I really like Teddy Grahams. Um, yeah, that's why I was surprised. Sauce. I'm just an adult child. And you ruined so. it. <laughs> okay, so on to history. Um, so splashing's a fun one. Um, I feel like it was kind of a difficult road, but not terrible. It was more, I was just having fun, I think, most of the time. Um, so starting it off, if we start in, like, medieval Europe, criminals used to get punished by being placed in a pillory or stocks, which are those, like, wooden contraptions that you have your head in a hole oh, and yeah, restrained yeah. with, like, your head and things. Then you get, like, rotten fruits and vegetables thrown at you. We and so... That at the, uh, cap- what? What there is a renaissance? Yeah. Fair. I didn't even Just think tomatoes. that for splashing. Right. And so the crazy thing is some people think that's like the origin of like, you can kind of go into like a dead degradation. Oh, I can't say words. Yeah. Um, kink and into splashing, which is really fun because also I think there's a lot of people who are like, yeah, these kind of intersect with a lot of other right. kinks and fetishes, which is really fun. Um, Jumping way over, I feel like the next thing was like finding it in media. So I didn't really find a whole lot of other things like predating media as much but then if you get to like 1909 there was a movie called mr flip that was a black and white short film um and it was the first movie where someone was getting pied in the face so when you like someone hits you with those like whipped cream pies um and it was for comedy in quotations um and some people think that's like the birthplace of like media Okay. For splashing. You can see that. Right. And so then it started getting picked up by a bunch of other places of like popular things. And so there were a lot of like comedic short films of people getting like hit with food or like like, messy things. Not to like, er, sorry. No. But like, it's super funny how back then that was like so hilarious. Oh my God. Everybody, that was like peak Peak. comedy. (laughs) Right. 10 out of 10. Right. Of the face. I would still laugh if someone got hit in the face with a pie. I laugh I'm every like, single time Jesse gets I mean, a J with cake. In front of, like, in real life, I don't think if I saw it on TV or movie, I would laugh. I don't know. I think it depends on who it is. Circle. I think it depends on the audio behind it. Yes, that too. Like, TikTok has ruined my sense of humor at this point. If you have <laughs> that super shitty, like, clown running uh, behind it, 
with the pie in the face, I would probably laugh. Like the creepy, like a creepy Ronald McDonald. Like, <laughs> I think Ashley just means like bottom tier funny. So yeah. I don't even yeah. think you should give her creepy. <laughs> I think you should give her like really shitty clown. Right. That, that like, would be scary. No, 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 no. Like the, it's like that. Um, they had it in the audio of like every clown, like. Oh yeah. N- yeah, not like I mean, scary, just like that I stupid. Even, like, the scary movie clowns. No, 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 pie no, no, no. Somebody in the face, but it's probably not pie. It's probably like acid pie or something. What? <laughs> like that just sounds scary. No, really watch dark. too many horror movies. I know. <laughs> I know. I really have. I like scary clowns. Horror movies. Um, I really like the movie It. Yes. Mm-hmm. Did you read the books? No, mm. I tried to when I was a kid, but it was too much. There's a lot. Vocabulary for me. <clears throat> yeah, as a kid. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm stalling. I just ate something gummy. Okay. Don't need the caramels. They will stick in your teeth. <laughs> yeah, I'm holding it off. I have one. I'm like, not yet. Uh, okay, so in 1928, George Batali's story, story of the Eye um, actually had a quote from it that I think pertained. And that was the earliest known like book published that I could find any sort of like splashing event in. Um, and in quotations, I saw her... I first saw her mute and absolute spasm um, the day that she sat down in a saucer of milk. And I was like, that's so fun. That sounds cold. It sounds super cold. Um, but also, I mean, you know, when you yeah, like good. sit down in like a really low <laughs> toilet and like water splashes up at your bum, like that's what it reminds me of. No, I don't like it. <laughs> Did you wait? Did Are you just telling me that Danny doesn't put down the seat? What? <laughs> yes, like mm-hmm. so, like something like that. No, oh. Danny does put on the seat, but that's happened. <laughs> Everybody, I think, is one point in their life, Very you know, where you sit down and somebody did not put that seat down. Yeah. Yeah. You too are totally. just making me feel so awkward. Does that <laughs> ever happen to you? Um, not in like a long time. Well, I don't know. Well, it's happened I, uh, at least once in everybody's lifetime. Is what I'm saying. I feel like huh? I've birth panicked. control. What? Ashley's birth control alarm just went off. Oh. Are you going to take it? I don't have it on me. Oh, well, okay. oh, shit. I forgot to shut off the alarm. Another alarm. <laughs> um, no, I had I grew up with three older brothers, and I feel like they were all pretty good at putting the toilet seat down. Or if I noticed, like, I don't know, I'd sit down in the toilet, and then if the seat wasn't down, I'd just be like, panic, but then catch myself. Well, right. I feel like it had to me, like, as a kid, like, once or twice. Totally. Like, I'm not saying it happens to me all the time as an adult. Like, no. I mean, like, it's <laughs> happened once to everybody. Um, I yeah. will say, I don't know. I feel like I get that every time I use a bidet. I'm like, just freezing cold water. It's fine. I you know you can days. change it I to it. hot water, right? Not all. No, of them. not all of them. No. Some, not all are heated. Ashley, I don't know what bougie or places you end up. Nikita's basement. <laughs> That's not bougie. Thank you. Well, apparently, Does it have a blow dryer in it too. No. What? Yeah, some of them have blow dryers. That's wild. Mm-hmm. Okay, tangent for each one. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, um, so then um, jumping all the way to 1989, splash exclamation point was the British fetish magazine devoted to wet and messy fetishism. Um, or wham, um, usually containing stories of men and women in wet and messy situations. I wonder if you could still buy that magazine. We could display it down here. We follow them on Facebook. They are discontinued. Yeah. Really? So their magazine got They're discontinued like, in 2001. Probably worth a pretty penny. In the Never mind. For physical yeah. copies, yeah. I don't know. They had a website, I think, up until like 2014. Okay. And I think they're, the owner of the magazine ended up passing away. And oh. that is why they ended up shutting it down. Sad. Um, said, but also a great place for, you know, that kink and fetish, um, right. in the early days, you know, um, in 2003, there was the book of salt by Monique Trong. Um, and she asks, um, which a lot of people actually, I found this through a different website and someone was actually hearing about splashing for the first time and specifically asked, have you ever heard of cake splooshing? Um, splooshing. She <laughs> said splooshing. Sploosh? <laughs> right. So I've heard it both ways. Really? I thought it was splooshing when you uh, said it. I, I guess I always read it splosh. No. So technically I think it also depends on like region. Mm-hmm. Um, they said that splooshing is more of a thing, I think in Europe. Um, splashing might be more of an American thing, but regardless, most people go by splashing, but she okay. did in her book say splooshing specifically, um, and then explained that it was people who like to sit on cakes to masturbate. 
Um, cake sitting. It's, right, it's just cake sitting, which I would assume is another subcategory, possibly. Definitely. You know? Um, which I just thought was interesting, especially because the article that I initially read about this was someone... Sorry. <laughs> um, was basically just saying that was their first time ever being, like, exposed to it was, like, through this book, which I thought was, like, cool. Um, in 2005... <laughs> There was um, Wham Play, otherwise known as you Sorry. know Wet and Messy. Um, it actually made news in the UK for a teacher who was looking up Wham-related subjects on the school computer. Um, he got two years of conditional registration order, which means that he has to remain on a registry of teachers um, and must adhere to like very strict conditions. Wait, for only two years? For only two years. How about never teach again? <laughs> right. No, totally. This was on a school computer. Yeah. Um, so the article actually stated a school's former head of IT has been disciplined for watching bizarre internet porn where women covered in beans, spaghetti, pies, and trifles. Trifles? Truffles? Um, it says trifles. Oh, I was gonna say truffles. That'd be expensive. Spot. That would be. <laughs> I don't know. I Again, this is in the UK. They have different names for yeah. things. So maybe that's something that I don't what know What is about. with the beans? The beans, beans are so gross. Put them in between the toes. It'll what? be fun. Beans. beans refried not even refried oh just that'd cans be even of beans. worse that'd be hilarious <laughs> those are gross uh, but no cans of beans people got a thing for it uh, I all i can why. think of is my friend very drunkenly crying while eating a can of beans with a knife because she what kind of, of beans baked beans i like bushes, baked beans. Baked, yeah, uh, not i don't like any beans i don't like any beans i like refried beans and baked beans no other kind of beans i have no beans. found a bean that i like Except for me. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> and we hate you again. We're uh, quitting today. No, Cancelled. I've added to the bean list that you don't like. <laughs> um, and then this one's kind of recent, so I don't know if this steps on anyone's toes. But in 2014, Martha. Is that a good pun? <laughs> mm -hmm. We ignored it, Kitty. We're moving on. <laughs> Um, Martha Burgess hosted a cake sit in an art gallery where participants arrived with their pastries in tow, and then they sat on them for an art exhibit. So not a cake walk. Nope. A cake sit. A cake, cake sit. sit. And then sat on it. Then it was a cake sat. Yeah, that was a cake sat. And there were a lot of smushed things. Um, <laughs> I love this. But yeah, that is my history. Wow. Well, thanks for giving us the whole kit and caboodle on history, Moth. Wait, why do we say that? What? Kit and Caboodle? Yeah. I know where you can find out. Why do we say that? The podcast where Scott and Liam, a father-son duo, delve into the fascinating history of language. And they really break a leg every time. Okay, you really had to go there, huh? <laughs> With their witty banter and entertaining insights, you'll be hooked on the very first episode. Also, they have a fun little game they play at the end called What Word Am I? Subscribe now to Why Do We Say That? On your favorite podcast app. They release a new episode every Tuesday. So next time you hear someone say the whole kit and caboodle, you can tell them exactly where it came from. So yeah, did you hear that, everyone? We got our first sponsor. We Look at us. We're doing great. We actually know what we're doing sometimes. Yeah. I wouldn't Somebody say we've known. I said sometimes. <laughs> I didn't say all the time. Okay. Somebody believes in us. <laughs> and Two us. very yeah. nice gentlemen. One's a child, not a gentleman, but a gentle child. <laughs> a gentle child. There go. <laughs> well, yeah. So, yeah. Should we move on to psychology? Pop off. All right, we'll do. Why not me? That's I know. Me. I just like to make direct eye you contact. Just made with me you. really nervous, thinking, did I do the wrong one again? <laughs> okay. No, I'm just here to make Ashley as uncomfortable as possible. That no, doesn't work here anymore. We've been friends for yeah, way <laughs> too long. That doesn't mean I'll stop trying. All right, so psychology. Like any sexual interest, the appeal can vary from person to person. I still have it. <laughs> you still have what? Ashley's making sex eyes at me. <laughs> <laughs> that used right. to make mouth uncomfortable all the time. Well, you're making me I'm an adult now. now. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing makes me uncomfortable. Do you know who I'm married to? You two can carry on with your sex eyes. I'll tell our, our guests about psychology. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Okay. So some people might enjoy it as a form of BDSM play. In which there's a submissive element, like humiliation, involved in getting covered by a messy substance. And others might enjoy it, like just the physical, tactile sensation of the substances. It's like, some people might, you know, obviously degrading somebody by splashing them. And some people just That's like, why I spit in people's mouths. Yes. <laughs> and some people just really, just truly enjoy the feeling. Bodily f fluids do not count as splashing, Ashley. I spit alcohol. That is a fluid. True. That is a different that fluid. Count? 
No, because it's inside somebody's mouth. I right. think it has, it has to, to be, be like all over their face. Or I something. mean, it also makes it all over their face. It doesn't. True. I mean, can't I am confirm. not <laughs> a good spitter. <laughs> I like to swallow. <laughs> got it, Katie. Ooh. There, go. there it is. All right. So some people like defying expectations of being prim and proper. So it can feel really liberating to do that. People who grew up with the overbearing rules of like, don't play with your food and stuff like that. Ashley looks so <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that's a lot of people, what they came to in their adult life from totally. all that. Also, some psychologists think people who loved finger painting at playing in mud as a child grew up to find an interest in sloshing. Hmm. Totally makes sense. Like messy things. You continue yeah. to enjoy messy things. Right. So this is taken from the Ravishly website. One theory is that splashing is a holdover from the childless rapture of squishing, smushing, slurping, splashing, aka the messy play theory. Yes, that. <laughs> Wait. Um. Yes. So squishing. They're saying that these things are like... Squishing, smushing, slurping, splashing. <laughs> so are they saying they liked those things and that led them to enjoy this? As an adult, yes. It's called the messy play theory. Yes. Hmm. I'm so intrigued by that. So other believes that wham heads, which I love that term, may be drawn to <laughs> sploshing due to low tactile sens sensitivity or sensory mm. processing disorder. Those that suffer from this relatively rare malady, yeah, I not look up that how to say that, have Good a part. dampened response to a particular sensory experience. So they're able to finally experience how things feel and stuff on their level because it takes extreme measures to do that for them. I am the exact opposite. Right. I Yeah. <laughs> I agree with you. I felt like that seems rare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but hey, if you have it, I can see how this play could be finally able to experience, like, experience things on levels that other people usually mm -hmm. do. So that's pretty much it. It was pretty basic for psychology. Like, yeah. You like to be, get messy. <laughs> And yeah. common practices. You like to be messy. All right, I'm yeah, done. I'm done. See you later. No, I actually have a lot of fun things. I have a lot of fun things. Um, okay, so on to me because, you know, I'm the fun one. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'm just the boring mom. Yeah. I'm just the drunk mom. That's fine. Drunk mom. I'm fine with that. I'm like, I'm um, the boring one. Excuse you. <laughs> so I have ways, if you are interested to start, um, there is this na a girl named Aisha. She did a whole paper on it. Whoa. And how to start to get into how to step a toe into <laughs> dip a toe, dip, dip a toe. toe. Thank oh. you. You corrected me. Um, how to Aisha? Yes. She says, bring a plate of food into the bedroom. It can be anything: spaghetti, cucumbers, chocolate, etc. Bedroom. Oh, God, I bedroom. Would throw wait, up. wait. Can <clears throat> Hang on. <laughs> can you just? Shouldn't you put up like plastic sheets for? Um. Can you? Hold it, step your. Not everybody has a sex dungeon. I get it. <laughs> Can you hold your horses? Yes. Thank you. Um, go ahead, eat it really slowly, allowing your partner to watch. Then switch. Watch every movement. Taste every. Oh wow! I did not read the right. I. Uh, okay, this is what it says. But it says, watch every movement. Taste every kink. Can be pure. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what you're I, saying. Yeah, I, I don't know if I cut something out. Every little movement can yeah. be sexual. And appreciate every little small move and gesture. Um, or they can be a mi mixture of several. When it comes to splashing, you might also see things like smell. Imagine their <laughs> saliva accumulating and go from there. Sorry, that one just... the grossest move. <laughs> <laughs> that was what I couldn't do. Um, things that are also like it is... Go away. My what keyboard pop-up. smell with this. Things that don't smell good to you. Okay. Baked beans. Gross. Ugh, yeah. The smell. Ick. <laughs> Just don't like baked beans. <laughs> oh my god. I literally freak out when um people use tongue when they kiss because I think it's disgusting. All the mouthy noises. I like mouthy noises and then also saliva. I think saliva is gross. I think drippy. Why are you two best friends? <laughs> Ashley's like, I love spit. <laughs> Ashley's my trauma. Like, yeah. Um, I, I am probably their trauma. I'm just in the middle. <laughs> I don't know no, I know. I like hate wet. I hate slimy. I Same. hate all of that. And I hate bodily noises ASMR. Like the eating ASMR. Stop. We don't have ASMR mics. So you can't do it, Ashley. I think. Goodness. <laughs> but <laughs> I hate 
all those sounds too yeah well i and again it's not even necessary i mean okay actually no you're totally right i hate the sounds too because i will literally watch things and then mute them because yes. i'm like it's the worst or for some reason it will come up on tiktok somebody like eating asmr or like right totally why don't you this person i quickly like have to scroll so why i don't, don't mind no. normal asmr why don't you click on it and say i don't like this video and then you never have to see it again well, it's not ever the same video. But yeah, but it will it will stop showing you right. things. The algorithm's good. Well, I yeah. like some ASMR, like snow right. crunching, like feet walking on snow. I like. I that. like those crushing videos when they have the big machine yes. and it crushes I little love things. Love that. I like it when the lady reacts to those who does like the interpretive dance to the things getting crushed. Uh, I haven't seen that, but I did I see the guy who that. does smash <laughs> or pass <laughs> on it. <laughs> And so he's like, mm -hmm. if he really likes it, he's like, smash. And if he doesn't, he's like, ugh, pets. <laughs> I finally came across the D&D &D sandwich guy. Uh, he's time. my favorite. He's and a good guy. I, hope I also like the pasta guy that does it. I have not seen the pasta one. Can we do a drink one? We roll the dice for to make a drink? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, I don't know what fetish I would... RPG fetishes. Role yeah, play games. I guess. There we go. Role play. Yeah, totally. We'll, we'll do it for that. Down. Yes. That's not my next one, but... That's okay. <laughs> I'll put it to my notes. All right. So, <laughs> anyway, um, worried about getting messy in your bed? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please tell. So they said they're like I cut it out because I was like, nope, I don't like you trying to get me to sell things. Um, totally. Mm -hmm. It was basically this guy. He owns like a company that makes pads for. Oh. Splooshing, splashing, all of the above. What kind of pads? Um, they just waterproof? Like plastic. They're plastic, waterproof. Because I was going to say, there's a million waterproof yeah. blankets on Amazon. Right. Like, you can just go not on there. Not splashing, also like, focus. There's also towels. Just mm, towels soak through. Right. Towels are not plastic. the best option. But there are waterproof blankets that are also, like, plush. And, like, you just throw them in the yeah. wash after. And, like, I know this from having kids. Just plastic sheets are a thing. Yeah. No totally. <laughs> like... So yeah, there's that. Your, um, I just didn't post that one because I didn't want like he was 100 percent trying to sell this product that he sells. This reminds me of like when I came across the dude wipes for acronyms. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> but chugging the sun, all of a sudden realized I was on the dude wipes dude wipes website. I'm like, oh my um, god, really? If you're worried about your hair getting covered in food, like honey, that sucks. I'm not. I'm a hairstylist. I don't want to cut that out of your hair. Mm, no. Oh my god, my sister-in-law one time saw a honey mask for her hair that you can like make quote in quotes make yourself at home so put a bunch of honey in her hair and then was like oh no and then tried to rinse it out and it didn't come out and then tried to shampoo it out and it didn't come out and then i think ended up having to use like like a whole jar of peanut butter and that somehow like made it come out it's Did the this oil sell peanut butter <laughs> <laughs> it was like 10 years ago i tried to start a diy home spa blog and then i realized ended it because i realized i was giving a lot of really bad advice <laughs> like well thank you for realizing don't mix lemon with sugar and put it on your face like don't like, mm. i was like no this is all bad yep no. um so she yeah, has shower hat ca uh cap if you're playing with messy sticky foods good to um pre-moistened wipes i like that they had like a whole thing <laughs> for pads and everything yeah but but the wipes are just like pre-moistened Mm -hmm. Um, a recipe list for all of the food you want to bring into the bedroom, hmm. or foods that you do not want, <laughs> or you don't like if you have allergies, right? Yes. Um, first, mm -hmm. slightly defrost frozen foods because it will make them easier to handle, and just cold. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I mean, if you're messing around well, with ice cream, ice is a stuff. thing. Ice on nippies, right? Um, <laughs> did you like that? Remind <laughs> <laughs> me of your um, McChicken. On the titties. <laughs> uh, also, make sure you take proper precautions when using food for penetration. Dirt, bacteria, bacteria, mm -hmm. uh, bacteria, and sugar can result in unpleasant infections. pH balances. Although someone's butt yeah. may be open for business, the vagina is a little less hospital <laughs> when it comes to inserting food. Wait, when in doubt, recommend using a condom. Are you saying that... The back door can handle more than the front door? Yeah, oh, definitely. Sense? Yeah. Okay. I see. It, yeah. Yeast infections are very easy to but get. But there's not right. as many bacterial issues. Like I guess that EV makes sense. and yeast infections are like not fun. Nope. Yeah. And sugar really fucks that up. Or is it, yeah, I don't feel like you're. I feel like even. I think it's. Just like, put a condom on it. 
If Wait, you're going to stick something in your... Put it in the back door. <laughs> <laughs> With a condom no. on it still. <laughs> Only <laughs> if it bus. has a flared base. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No losing baby carrots in there. Don't <laughs> If you lose a baby carrot in there, though, will you tell me about it? <laughs> you have to send us pics or it didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> of the x-ray, not the actual... <laughs> <laughs> a little column A, a little column B. Either. <laughs> if you have it vacuuming up your butt, I kind of want to see it. Right, it's a video. <laughs> it's actually like a you real. You were opening that mail. I'm not. <laughs> we, we already went over this. I'm opening yeah. all the oh, mail anyway. Boomerang. That's the word I was looking for. Oh, yeah, boomerang. <laughs> Send me a boomerang. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm just picturing somebody like making this boomerang, like, gotta set it to King's cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we don't condone any of the activities <laughs> described in this podcast. Please do at your own risk. Yeah. <laughs> please don't go to the ER. Well, please do if you need to. If you <laughs> need to, please don't do something that makes you need to go to the ER. Don't blame us for it. We didn't tell you to do it. But please be safe if you need to go to the ER. Go to the ER. <laughs> right. Um, I have some recommended fruits. I know you kind of went over them, but mango, strawberries, blueberries, grapes, bananas, pineapple, and pitted cherries. Do not have pits in your cherries. You can choke. Mm -hmm. That's um, smart. And then I'm just thinking people using cherries like a cherry on top of their head. <laughs> <laughs> just whip. Cream. That's that reminds me. <laughs> like oh god. Um, what is that movie where the guy walks out with whipped cream yes, on his nippies about. and his little? I know exactly what you're talking about too. I, I have no idea. Movie. I'm gonna look it up. Or he's like, "Are we doing this? Like, you ready?" You have to turn <laughs> off airplane mode. Dang it. That's okay. If there's a weird buzzing noise, drink. Yep. Yep. Keep talking, actually. Yeah, um, and then some good for, like, sticky and, like, fun play. Honey, caramel, butterscotch, jelly. Um, drizzle it and then rub it in. It adds more friction and a little bit. It kind of gets with, like, pain with pleasure. Because it sense. pulls, like, hair and... Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's gross. I'm like, I don't you know <laughs> how like hairy it. Logan is. <laughs> That's <laughs> a terrible idea. No uh, you know what? Live your best life. Um. So, not another teen movie they did it in? Yeah, 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 yeah. But weren't they impersonating a different movie then? Probably. I, I have know. no idea. Um, Things to avoid, like I said, allergies or irritations. Mm -hmm. Putting something in the mouth is not the same as putting it on your skin. Mm -hmm. That's true. Um, yeast infections, obviously. We already went over that one. Um, Keep it away from the eyes mm -hmm. or keep a cloth yeah. and or water bottle handy. Right. If you need to rinse those puppies, please do. Yes. Yeah. Um, avoid abrasive things. So strawberries might be fun to eat and everything. Don't rub it into your skin. Oh. Things that can be like acidic. Acidic too, probably. Mm -hmm. um, cake wear... sprinkles are going to smear and rub into your skin wrong. I was going to say you could wear goggles. <laughs> That's a good idea, actually. You just wear some swimmer goggles. <laughs> yeah. like, Dump it on me. <laughs> That just reminds me of slime again. <laughs> Nickelodeon oh, yeah. slime. Yes. Um, and then things this is like. Uh, oh, I should have looked these up and how to say them. You're doing great. Salif. Saliforophilia? Drink. <laughs> Arouser. 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 Arousal from sully and, sullying an object like tangling hair, destroying clothes, getting oh. dirty. Oh, that's really mean in this. Like, I want you to suffer and, like, have to chop your hair off because you got honey stuck in it. That's mm -hmm. awful. Um, oh sito sitophilia. Arousal from food. More uh, uh, more about the food, less about the interaction. Got it. And then... Oh, wait, do they just, like, look at it and get turned on? Or eating it? Arousal from food. Just, just food. food. Yeah. What a life. <laughs> I feel like I might be a little bit there every now and again. Yeah. Whenever I'm eating something I really like, I do the happy dance. Mm -hmm. Happy dance is just necessary. But I'm yes. like, food is just so Colin good. did bring me home to the pizza on Sunday, and I was like, hmm. It was. I, didn't <laughs> I just needed bed, to be honest. But um, Bondage. Getting tied up and getting messy. Yeah. Yep. And then... Um, Tie me up with a pizza slice. <laughs> Man. Just make me a pizza, like into a pizza, like the Domino's ad that we talked about. Right, exactly. <laughs> That's what I got for you. Fantastic. Right. Good job. A lot of it just kept bringing up those three things, and I was like, great, I don't care about the food anymore. <laughs> I just want you to <laughs> right. tell me important facts. So one tip I came across was if you decide to do it in your home, Make sure it's not around anything that you wouldn't want to get stained, like mm -hmm. furniture. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can tarps and things like that, but accidents happen. 
They suggest go sit on couch right <laughs> after playing in food. <laughs> oh my god! They suggest a shower, but please be careful about where you're washing down your drains. Certain foods or the fish sauces. just get snacks. It's fine. Yeah, get yourself a sex dungeon. Basically, go hose off out back. Go hose even better for your neighbors <laughs> to see. <laughs> right, living in the Midwest. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I feel like if anything, I'd more expect people either to be like doing it with mashed potatoes out here or something. Yes. <laughs> and gravy. Right. We tried getting mashed potato wrestling to happen at Retox. I would love that. Um, Jesse told me no. I wouldn't participate. Lame. I would just be- Oh like, no, I wanted to participate. I'd be like on the side, just like with a spoon slowly. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Eating. Before, before the event. <laughs> Eating everybody's walked through. No, is... before the event. <laughs> nope. Jesse told me no. He told me it was too messy. I was like, Retox is- People are I mean, dirty. They have the rooftop. They can just hose it off. Do you know how gross underneath that flooring on the patio is? So what's underneath gonna make it worse? So if you go up to the patio, you can lift Don't. up those rocks. Oh god. Don't say this kind of And we did that once and some girl wanted her nipple ring back and then decided against it. <gasps> it fell down there and she was I was like, There it is. I'm not touching it. Right. Uh, that's anywhere like it's uh yeah yeah well right that's just any venue that a lot of yeah. people go to it's fine but that people is are gross. Just messy. it's also outside it doesn't matter right it is. you don't lift up the floor yeah. until someone breaks into it yeah don't do that so let's wrap it up wrap no it up. there's splashing parties we already said that you didn't get your birth control on time so now you have to run that's yep. <laughs> I am a virgin, thank you. <laughs> the funniest thing she's done. Yeah. Hilarious. Are you okay over there? <laughs> Denny was right. I'm Denny sorry. Denny hates our mic buddies because he's like, they're going to fall off, they're going to mess with the sound, and here we are. That's okay. That's fine. <laughs> you just set them next to me on the table like a good person. <laughs> I would I'm not disturbing back. anything. <laughs> Don't Listen, put me in timeout. <laughs> if me slapping my mic wasn't aggressive enough, I don't think the mic buddies made a difference at this point, okay? <laughs> All right, Maybe so no aggressive snack trays anymore. No, I, that's a lie. I want the aggressive snack. Right, I love this. This is the so shark good. coochie Sunday bar. I apologize for any crunchies that I've had so far. Okay. Not sorry. Stink. Drink. Drink. Not stink. Drink. Maybe you stink. I don't know. I don't <laughs> question your life. Too many words. Okay. <laughs> Splashing parties. <laughs> they are a thing where it's just like a big, huge orgy food fight, basically. Wonderful. I want to see that. Um, so different clothes are a thing, like business attire. Like, can I wear a hazmat suit? Yeah, like whatever. <laughs> I think that's perfect for you. Right, I, that's the only way I would participate. <laughs> I love that. Just shows up like, I got yeah, this, guys. This is my king. <laughs> right, I have like an air pack on me. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Into wet and messy, but not getting messy. Right. <laughs> or wet. <laughs> just... <laughs> or wet. Just... <laughs> I just want to stay clean while getting wet and messy. <laughs> right. I would wiggle my way in there and just like... Oh, <laughs> you would. My God. Find a little hole or something. So the zipper in the try. back and I would yeah. sneak my hand Unzip around. It and... <laughs> With cake. <laughs> That's just rude. I was going to say, I feel like you would be the first one that if I had like a little visor, you'd like find some peanut butter and like smear it on the visor. <laughs> I'd be like, little do you know, I brought a squeegee and I'd have to like, <laughs> oh my God. be prepared for that one. So much. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta, does someone have a hazmat suit I can borrow, please? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> so there is one. Okay, Moth, this might be for you. There is one where it's water only. <laughs> oh. Just like the wet look or wet feel. Okay. That's water just a wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> I know. I'm fine you with that. You don't have to wear a t-shirt. <laughs> they just like It's a shower. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> like so that's for you, Moth. <laughs> I did see one video. Shout out to Messy Hot, they were called. Where it was just all Was it glitter. messy and hot? It was all glitter. Ooh. Oh my and god, just, that's like, Ashley's. And my yeah, like please wear goggles. Yes. No. <laughs> and you're never getting that glitter out anywhere. <laughs> Tell it to Ashley's last apartment. Tell it to my current house. <laughs> yeah, same. Whenever we go to hotels, like for raves, yeah. out of state, Danny's like, We're not getting the deposit back because you just got glitter all over the place. <laughs> I have never not gotten a deposit back because of glitter. Me either. Honestly, I, same. Knock on wood, but yeah. thank you. Ashley. Is that real wood? It's wood paneling. <laughs> yeah, that counts. I would say that counts. Is that fake wood? It's wood. No, not I'm gonna wood. click. Knock on every here. Look, there's more. 
That one's on yeah. the most real. <laughs> so are there any foods or substances that you two would not be okay with? Being sploshed into me? Yes. <laughs> All of them. Yes. That, okay. Kiwi. Fair. I'm allergic to it, though. No. <laughs> Um, I think anything cold like ice cream. Oh, see, I'm down for cold. Mm, I love cold. Like ice is cool. Down for like that kind of stuff. No I, hot sauce. Nothing. No, oh, no spicy my peppers. God. No. Yeah, no hot no. sauce. Of I bought one of Sharky's hot sauces this weekend. Yes. And the blueberry one. No, it was the peach Probably one. The peach. And someone tried it and they left it on the table and I was like, "These fucking assholes!" And I picked it off and I just sprayed this poor oh, girl. No, Ashley. <laughs> And she like was all fine. Over her face? No, just like all over her like clothes. She, no, it was she was wearing a crop top and it made it just in the oh, crop top spot spot on her skin. Yep. And I, I like burn. No, I cleaned her up. It was fine. It was hot. Um it also was, was all over hot? me. No. I mean the hot sauce was, but that's just like sploshing. <laughs> Accidental in public. And then I dropped I like went to go put it in my pocket and thought I hit it, completely missed, shattered it all over the oh. Oh. Your life is so hard. You contributed to the nasty flooring. It's fine. I cleaned it up. It's still to the best of your face. ability. Yeah. I had a broom. <laughs> no, it is incorrect. Now they have a hot sauce filled broom. <laughs> you just caused them more problems. Okay, first of all, I asked for a broom and a mop. And the guy was like, you get a broom. And I was like, okay. I would have just asked for a glass of water and just poured it over and called it good. All right. <laughs> is it caramel? No, it's a hair. Ew. Oh, I don't know whose it is. Your mouth? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yours or Colin's? No, work. Oh, work. Okay. Yep. Could be anyone's. <laughs> right. <laughs> literally going to work as a hairstylist. Yeah. Right. It's literally just like anytime you eat food, you're like, oh, there's a hair in here. It's not mine. Uh, I still mine. eat it. Well, right. I don't know if it's You just pick it out and you keep eating. It's fine. Right. I do the same. Mm -hmm. So would you rather be the splosher or the sploshy? Splosher. Er, yeah, 100%. I get to throw food at I'd other people? I'd be a people? switch. <laughs> I'm proud of you. I would do but both. I... But I also, like, I grew up, for some reason, the summer camp I went to, we always did, like, food fights. Yeah, we did that in high school, too. And you yeah. know what we did? I hid under the table. <laughs> yeah, I would just I leave. loved it. I, I got would really involved. Like, I was, like, <clears throat> I would, like, prepare for it. Like, because it was, like, a, like, on a Friday, like... This, everybody knew was happening. So, like, that day during lunch and dinner, you would, like, sneak stuff from, like, the cafeteria. Like, mm. this would be perfect for it. And, like, you had your teammates, which was your cabin. And, like... <laughs> uh, I hid behind Logan <laughs> and Travis right. while they threw food. I was gonna say, I don't think I've ever actually been a part of a food fight. I can only imagine that me as a scene kid would be absolutely horrified and just, like, walk out of there. Gonna ruin my makeup! <laughs> right, 100%. I'm like, I In my do not hair. have energy. It happened the day I got proposed to for prom that really weird day that's it happened Before or after after or during <laughs> and then a food fight broke out as he's like on his knee proposing to so me during. <laughs> yeah it was weird wow that was a really awkward situation all that of that is really weird which prom uh i ended up taking tyler to that one so got it was that i don't even know what year that was senior junior because senior T Tyler tried to get you to take him because he wanted to go both years. Oh, terrible. Uh, How, wasn't he too old at that point? Yeah, he's probably like 21. Yeah, that's the only way you can go to prom if you get asked by someone in high school. <laughs> well, right, but yeah, they also only allow people under a certain age. Because oh, they didn't want yes. them bringing in alcohol. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Was or a year I took Brad. Dating a 17 year old. <laughs> right, also a pedophile. Yeah. So, <laughs> which I would say that Tyler falls probably under that category, so that's fine. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Don't right. actually, because that's gross. Anyways. But, um, okay. <laughs> so. Oh, have you heard of the latest pickle trend with the fruit roll-ups? No. No. I've seen people put fruit roll-ups in the freezer and then try to claim that it doesn't have a wrapper on it. There's, well, there's that. What? Yes. They, they put them like in the freezer and then they're like, oh, we can eat the plastic. And then people no, will be like. they put ice cream inside of it. No, 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 no. Oh, I haven't seen this. Uh, there was a girl on TikTok and she posted a video of her eat biting into a fruit roll up that was like perfectly wrapped. Mm -hmm. And she like bit into it and she was like, no, you can eat the plastic. And it's like, no, bitch, stop telling children you can do eat plastic. Not, no, do not. Eat. Even fruit roll up made a TikTok and was like, pulls it out of the freezer like. Look, can't eat it. Don't eat it. Oh, God. <laughs> Kids wow. are so stupid. Yeah, and impressionable. Don't 
Don't eat the wrapper. But apparently they're really good and frozen because they're crunchy. Yes. Huh. So anyways, this latest pickle yes. trend. So usually, okay, you wrap a fruit roll up around a giant pickle. Yes. And then you cover it in chamoy sauce pickle. and tahini. It's delicious. I love it. Wait, anyways, soy sauce and... No, chamoy. No, chamoy. 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 The Mexican sauce, yeah. Chamoy. Tahini. And tahini. Tahin. Okay. It's like a spicy, like... You wouldn't tahin. like it. I have some no. upstairs. I'm going to try it. Okay. You wouldn't like it. No? I kind of like spicy things now. It's more tangy. Kind of. It's not spicy. Well, I... It's not spicy I probably me, won't but... like it. All right. So, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not like it, Ashley? No, I like it. Oh. So, some people turn As this... if my flavor palette is less refined than yours. <laughs> I'm saying I like spicier things I'm than sorry, you. sorry, Katie. <laughs> I just got insulted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I know your spice level. Yeah, it's... Okay, and listen, do you know Logan's spice level is very high? I do. I've been working my way up. Yeah, and then I it got... I do the same with Danny. Like, yes. Danny's was, like, way up there. When I first started dating him, I'm like, I couldn't even do, like, Tabasco sauce. Right. And now... I'm I have a there, mini one. Do you want a mini one, by the way? I have one in my purse. I have two. Okay. I take it. I'm almost out. <laughs> I mean, like, one. mini. That's I collect miniature things. You haven't seen my miniature collection. I haven't I have. unpacked it yet. Oh. And not at oh, your old place? You? No, I did not have it out. Oh. Yeah. Along that, That's like your tan... It was your tiny, like, candy? Candy. No, that was candy. Oh. I have an entire miniatures collection of, like, just... Minis. Mini things. Oh. Yeah. Did you get this in the, um... I stole it thing? from a restaurant. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> in Florida. That sounds wonderful. It wasn't really stolen. They handed five on the table and I just... And then Justin took most of them. Nice. So this pickle trend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what your goddamn pickle trend. No, I'm kidding. No, yeah. <laughs> well, let me get to it. Okay. You so should have made that now, for a snack bearing. Maybe. Well, listen, what I'm going to say, and you might change your mind. Okay. <laughs> so people turn that trend, and now they're wrapping fruit roll-ups around penises. That's nothing that's new. And doing the deed. That's Fantastic. not new. And, and doing the deed? Well, like... A blowjob. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, maybe they're doing that too. I don't know. You're going to get a yeast infection. <laughs> yeah, that I don't is. know their life. Collins asked me to do that and I said no. The blowjob one? Yeah. Hopefully it's with the tattoo one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that'd be so <laughs> funny. I was going to say, you can just bite it, right? Like, it's fine. Well, like, yeah. Ouch. <laughs> it's fine. You want me to eat food. Right. Off and your PB. Right. And then also, it means there's going to be a lot of teeth involved. Mm -hmm. So, so just Moth, do you still want this as a snack pairing? <laughs> With an actual pickle? Yes. <laughs> right. I'm like, wait, so whose <laughs> dick am I eating it off of? I'm confused. We all have to invite our partners over and. <laughs> Boring. This is our snack pairing. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> Actually, all right. That's that. Does anybody have anything else before we move on to what our typical goodbye thing? Um, Ashley looks like she's thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of a famous person, but oh, I would what? also bite their pee pee off. So, oh. I can think of a lot of people I would hate who I would bite their pee pee off. No, I was like putting is that what you mean? fruit roll up, fruit roll up around there. Ding dong, oh. dingling, <laughs> dingling, <laughs> dingling, the ding -dong. dingling fruit roll up. Right. Um. No, I don't nope. think so. I don't think so. So we. <laughs> Buymeacoffee.com. <laughs> Buymeacoffee.com slash cocktail. Sponsor us. Well, just, yes. Anyone. Just buy us a cocktail. That'd be nice. Yeah. And then... We or have 12. an alcohol problem, so please help fund that. It's not a problem for me. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I also don't have a problem. <laughs> you hardly drink. Uh, <laughs> are, are you something you want to tell us? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a problem at home? <laughs> I'm the problem is is I probably don't get drunk enough at this point. All right, so I'm really scared to do this, and I had to convince myself I almost chickened out. Uh oh. Guess what our activity is? No. You two are gonna splash me. <laughs> oh. So you're gonna go step in your shower? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put it on TikTok. I almost chickened out, and Danny's like, "Do it, do it for the podcast." I'm like, <laughs> do it for the vine, okay. do it for the vine. <laughs> I figured I'd be the best one because it's my house. I we already agreed inside. to that last time, but we both forgot and you could have totally not said anything. Oh my gosh. So um, that's why I bought two things of whipped cream. <laughs> oh my god. One for each of you. Nice. I'm so excited. I'm terrified. I, 
I hope you guys enjoy this. I am so scared. <laughs> Are you going to be wearing that? No. Okay. I was going to wear Hazmat suit. <laughs> yeah. Hazmat suit. Surprise. No. Made outfit. <laughs> so, I, I made outfit. <laughs> I mean, I have one, but I mean. You don't want to ruin it. That's right. precious. But that's why I didn't know what to wear. I was like, I can just wear a bathing suit. Totally. A black but, one. Well, but still, I didn't a black want it to be ruined. It's not going to get ruined. You just wash it right after. Okay, no. So I have this, like, same material dress that I bought online that I ended up mm. hating. So I, I'm never going to wear it. I'm just going to wear that. I can throw it away. Perfect. Okay. I'm terrified, everyone. You're going to do great. I'm so excited. You're going to be so you pretty. You are excited. I'm scared. <laughs> gonna be good i'm gonna go be turned into a ice cream sunday no ice cream no ice cream toppings ice cream topping sunday yes um <laughs> y'all know my next topic yes All right, what, what are we is doing our next, next time quicksand what quicksand sand it popped up on my tiktok some oh girl my God. liking quicksand and i think it stems i'm gonna tell you what i think it stems from childhood because everyone uh, was told this for the next episode okay. i told yes Oh my god! Quick shit. <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna do on history. I'm so sorry. Uh, I know, I'm uh, the history like <laughs> of quicksand. Expect a really boring one next time, guys. I uh, will do my best. <laughs> oh no, I'm sure. You always say that, <laughs> <laughs> right? And I find the most boring thing. No, I'm always amazed. My friend Sam brought it up to me, and then it kept popping up on my TikTok, and I was like, "This is just okay. a sign." I mean, all, all of our Google searches at this point are just bringing up weird stuff now. I'm already on a watch list. <laughs> No, I was going to say Logan makes fun of me because I don't use incognito for any of I my searches. Either. I'm like, no, I, if Google wants to know, they can know. They can and know. Logan's like, what do you mean? Just this like your Snapchat crazy. AI. Yeah. If he wants to know, he can know. He can yeah, know. I don't, I don't care. Right. I couldn't delete him, so he can just know I my business. I don't have it. You don't? No, I don't think so. I looked. Um, I love Snapchat AI because I feel like it's going to be a really great like relationship builder for really lonely people. Like you just have this secondary option to like talk to this person, though it will not talk to you about sex things yet. So, oh well. Uh, he be... will tell you he loves you. Right. He'll say nice things and he'll say very encouraging things. He'll be the best boyfriend you can never have. Um, <laughs> you can never have. But he will not um, like sex you, unfortunately. If we are still a podcast in twenty thirty five, maybe this will be a thing, <laughs> and we could do an episode on it. Right. Totally. <laughs> Cool. Talking about granny porn back uh, then. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> on that note, it's time to well, leave. Well, it's time to go. I'm terrified. Um, go get changed. I'm going to go get changed. All right. Well, bye, everyone. Bye.